As we've discussed in lecture, we can classify things as acids and bases, and we know that acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. So in this reaction between water and hydrochloric acid, HCl is the acid and water is the base. We've further discussed that we can classify bases as electron donors, and this is very clearly seen when we look at the reaction. How do the electrons move? The electrons from the oxygen on the water come and form a bond with the hydrogen on the hydrochloric acid to form the hydronium ion. In this next chapter, we're going to classify these a little differently. Instead of thinking about these as acids and bases, we're going to think about these as nucleophiles and electrophiles. A nucleophile is nucleus loving, that is, it loves positive places. And if we just think about HCl, we know that the hydrogen has a positive charge and then chlorine has a negative charge or a partial negative charge. With water, we know that the oxygen has a partial negative charge and the hydrogens have a par partial positive charge. And so water in this case has electron density around the oxygen atom that's donating electron density to the positive place in HCl. So nucleophiles love positive places. They love nuclei, which are positive. Electrophiles, on the other hand, are electron deficient. And so we know that the hydrogen in HCl has a partial positive charge. And so it loves electrons. It wants electrons. And so in most of what we're going to be doing moving forward, we can classify things as nucleophiles and electrophiles. So let's do look at two more examples with water. So in this top example, ammonia is the base, and so it donates electron density. So it has a partially negatively charged nitrogen atom, and so it can take a proton from the water. And in the bottom case, oxygen again is electron rich, and it can donate electrons to this carbocation. So we notice that water has both nucleophilic and electrophilic properties. That is, the oxygen in water is nucleophilic, and the hydrogens in water are electrophilic. And so while we can classify some molecules or intermediates as nucleophiles and electrophiles, a lot of neutral compounds have electrophilic and nucleophilic parts to them.